Good morning, Chris. Thank you for um, coming along and doing this video with CQU, the Visual Arts Department. Um, as part of the Visual Arts program, we have electives in drawing, printmaking, painting, and also silversmithing jewellery, and which is your uh, you're being um, a part of. Mm -hmm. You're currently doing a Cert Three in Visual Arts in the jewellery stream. How are you enjoying it? I'm loving it. Um... You learn a lot of different techniques, yep. um, you are set a curriculum that you've got to stick to but you can go and do your own thing with it and everything and you're allowed the freedom to do that. So it's really, really good. Great. And how long have you been doing silversmithing? Um, for about 15 years now. Yep, 15 years, that's a long time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So how did you get your start in, in it? Um, I was living in Emerald and I was looking for something that was different that I'd never tried before mm -hmm. and the, um, I met you. You came out to Emerald and did a, a jewellery making workshop for beginners yes. and um, I just clicked with it and, and enjoyed it and then you came out a few more times and did more workshops and it was just really, really good. And that was part of the uh, Flying Arts Program which tours um, artists around regional remote Queensland and mm. at the time I was still teaching at TAFE but it was um, a lovely way to get out and see the countryside and also to make these connections with mm. like-minded people. And a lot of students that I did um, teach during the, the flying arts stage actually have then moved on and come into TAFE and started doing the jewellery making as part of our qualification here. Yeah, well, I always wanted to, because I heard about your course, and I always wanted to try and get down here to do it. And so it's when I actually moved down here closer that it gave me the opportunity to come and do it with you, yeah. Fantastic. Um, Chris is out at Wowen, and um, so she travels in about an hour's trip mm. each Tuesday for our class. Um, now, how, do you think this is like a serious profession for you, doing the visual arts program? When I first started, no. It was just something that was a hobby. Um, but now, yeah, it is starting to get more like that for me, yes. And how do you, um, you know, what do you do with your things that you make? Um, you know, what, what are your achievements um, from jewellery making? <laughs> well, first off, my friends and family all got a lot of presents. Yes, I, I used to just do. give everyone everything away because I never had the confidence in myself to put myself out there to sell my gear. Um, coming doing this course, I've met a lot of women that are doing the course and we formed a group. Ah, and so yeah. we um, actually go to the markets, the winter markets and the handmade markets in Rocky and sell our, our jewellery. And the beauty of it is, is that there's about five of us in the group and we all have different styles and techniques and wonderful. so no two things are the same. Yes. And, and you learn from these women. Oh, it's wonderful having um, a, a network and peer peer group yeah. that you can um, join and, and work with. Um, you interact really well with the students here and, and that is shown with your um, Silver Links group that, that mm. do these markets and it's made up of former and current students. Former and current, yes. And like you say, you all do different techniques. Yes. So there's a little bit of something there for you know every sort of customer that comes along. Mm. They have a lovely selection of different styles of work, which is the beauty of what we do here. Um, it's not um, you know, repeat this task and everyone does the same thing. Uh, I always try and ask you guys to, you know, take Put on your own, own interpretation. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Um, now, would you recommend doing formal study like you're currently doing, the Cert 3 in Visual Arts? Um, yes, really. Um, it, it's, as I said, it's given me confidence. It's um, I've learned to use the tools correctly, um, where before I wasn't, and things like that. And, you know, it's just, yeah, it's a good course. It is, and, and, and it's with other like-minded people, mm. and you do feed off each other. It's not only about the teacher-student relationship, it's about the peers that you work with within that class, and, mm. and getting ideas and information from them too. That's right, yes. Do you think you'll go on to film or study, do, do some more? Um, well, from when I finish my Cert 3, which will be in June, um, I've got the chance then now to do the diploma. That's correct. And, yep. and I'm seriously thinking of doing it um, because, you know, from there, there's a lot more advanced techniques that are in it that I just want to have a go at. 
you know. Can hear the passion yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. yeah, I'm really seriously thinking of carrying on with the diploma. I think with what we do as visual artists, um, we never stop learning. Uh, it's, it's an ongoing journey throughout the, the rest of our lives. And, and you find that, like, when you go to different workshops, you know, you, and you don't, you don't stick to the one teacher. You, you try to learn off as many people as you can because if you can walk away from that workshop learning one new technique or, or something like that, it's been worth it. I totally agree with you, Chris. Yeah. yeah. Um, it, it, I always try and do professional development once a year um, mm. and it's a delight to um, actually go away and, and work with other metalsmiths. Mm. Um, and... What you're wearing, um, all the jewellery that you're wearing, are beautiful examples of all the things that you've made in my class and also um, at different um, workshops throughout um, Queensland. Um, do you make money from it? Just starting to. Just starting um, to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The group Silver Links. Um, people are starting to know our work and what we do and it's things like that. You. And and they actually, yeah, they they are starting to follow us because we've also got a Facebook page. And I was going to ask like about well. Facebook, yeah. yes. Yeah, the girls set up a Facebook and so they regularly update it and everything. And so, yeah, so I am actually starting to and it's a good feeling, it doesn't isn't it? Feel good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, having someone want your work and... Um, and willing to pay you money. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. yeah, no, it's a really good feeling. And it's also, I've noticed um, with your peers, they've been saying, oh, I bought a pair of Chris's earrings. Geez, they're fantastic. And, oh, Oh my God, how wonderful. So, yeah. um, I, it's I'm a great a, compliment, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I've developed a, a passion with forging, and so what I'm doing with that is different to what they've seen. And yes. so, yeah, it's, so that's why they all own a pair of Chris's earrings. <laughs> <laughs> Chris has done forging in my class, but she's also done forging at other different workshops. So she's bringing in a, a, a multitude of different techniques into that forging practice. Mm. Um, this term we've been doing fold forming, um, which is another hammering, shaping technique. Mm. Um, how have you been enjoying that? I actually really enjoy it because with the forging that I've done previously, it's all been manipulation of the metal where this is folding it and then hammering it and getting shapes and, and then texture, hey? yeah, and then opening it up and you never know what you're going to get. Yes. So it's not as structured as the forging that I'm used to doing yep. and it's, it's like more free form. form. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And so it's really good and I can see the two working for me in the future. Excellent. You know, just having that passion um, really um, helps you guide your journey along. Mm. Um, have you been selling any foil forming pieces as yet? Well, I can't keep up with it at the moment. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> well, we've only done one market so far and all the foil forming stuff and or any of the forming stuff that I've done has gone and so I'm trying to get more made for That's great. the next market. Because we can do foil forming in silver, sterling silver or also copper and copper is a, a much more affordable mm. um, material for silversmiths to use oh, yeah. and it's more um, acceptable in society these days to actually wear copper jewellery. Mm. Um, and blending the two too, the, the silver two, yes. and the copper together, um, you can value. get some really incredible stuff out of it. Yes, yeah. yes. Um, now, any words of advice for, say, somebody that hasn't done any silversmithing or jewellery making before or any of the visual arts before and, um, you know, what, what they should have try a, and do? Yeah, have a go. Yep. It's, it's, you're not limited by age, race or anything like that with these courses, you know. You can be... Well, we've got ladies in the class that are in their 70s and 80s. Yes. And so you, you're never too old to have a go. I agree. And... Yep. You know, these days you've got to find something that you're passionate about so that you're happier. Yeah, you've got something to... To look forward to and everything else. Yes. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. Uh, that's the beauty of um, Central Queensland University and our, our VET program is mm. that we have people from all walks of life um, come into the visual arts studio and... Yeah. Um, and achieve and interact and it's not only about the learning but it's also about... The friendship. The friendships and the, the peer, peer group. Yeah. Um, and seeing people um, achieve from, you know, different walks of life too. Mm, true. 
Chris, and, and see what way they go too, you know. Yes, what they follow. Yeah. Yeah, what they're inspired by because we always um, try and push, you know, what is your inspiration? What what feeds your artwork? Um, and, and sort of push you in a direction so that you explore more, um, more techniques and so yeah. forth. Yeah. You obviously enjoy silversmithing and yeah. you enjoy coming to class and interacting with your peers, creating new works, making, you know, discovering new techniques. Um, anything else you can add to that? Well, with, with this course, um, th there's other components that you can do if you want to improve, like there's the drawing side of it. Um, which is a key component in what we do because mm. of some of our assignments and things like that require us to do drawing. Yes. And working with pens and um, watercolours and all that sort of thing. So you're not limited. You can do Other everything. Areas. Yes. You know, um, there's printmaking, there's everything here. Mm. And, and the facilities, the tool workshop for the jewellery has got the most amazing set of tools that are available for us to use. And, and it's really good for people that don't have the tools because they can come on Tuesdays and everything's there for them and they don't have to spend a fortune it's to get themselves started. Yes, that's right. Um, and, and that's the thing, until you know you like something, you don't want to spend a fortune. Yes. So that's the beauty of here. Everything's here taste. for you to use. You get a taste and it, yeah. And it can carry on to um, you never know further pathways, can't yes. it? Yeah. Chris, I've really enjoyed our talk. Um, I'm very fond of you. We've known each other for a long time now, well, yeah. from that first yes. Flying Arts workshop in, in the early 2000s. Um, and um, it's going to be sad that you're graduating this term, yeah. but hopefully we'll see you um, continue on and do more, more study with us. That's right. Thanks, Thank Chris. you. <laughs>